He is the greatest player to ever hail from Brazil's southern state of Rio Grande do Sul. He is arguably the most talented dribbler to emerge from the land where so many seem to be born with a ball at their feet. But for Ronaldinho Gaúcho, Champions League winner, World Cup winner and two-time FIFA World Player of the Year, an attempt to evade Paraguayan justice appears to have proven extremely costly. The former Barcelona and Brazil idol was arrested on Friday the 6th of March for entering the South American nation on a doctored Paraguayan passport, alongside his brother and agent Roberto de Assis. The numbers on the passports used by both men were found to belong to two elderly Paraguayan citizens. The siblings subsequently presented themselves at a police station to give formal statements on the morning of the 5th of March, leading to the surreal situation of Ronaldinho happily posing for photos with police staff just a few hours prior to his arrest. Now, he could be set to face far more grave charges, including money laundering, while his commercial relationship with Millonarios Dalia Lopez is fully investigated by Paraguay's organized crime and money laundering unit. Since the player's arrest, Lopez has proved impossible to track down. On the 10th of March, the Assist brothers saw their request to be placed under house arrest for the duration of the investigation denied. There is a fear from the prosecutor's office that the two men will use the opportunity to flee back to their homeland, thereby allowing them to escape any potential punishment. Brazil has a policy of not extraditing its citizens under any circumstances. The two therefore remain in a maximum security prison in the Paraguayan capital of Asuncion, while the remainder of the investigation is carried out on the charge of using doctored documentation to enter the country. Now, Ronaldinho's defense team has called the measure excessive and plans to file an appeal against the court's decision. Arrested with the pair was Brazilian businessman Wilmondes Sosa Lira, an alleged close friend of Roberto. He is suspected of supplying the two with the false passports and travelled with them to Paraguay last week. This episode is the latest in an increasingly long list of misdemeanors involving the former Barcelona and Brazil number 10, in a behavioural pattern which threatens to erode the memory of his playing achievements. The last time we saw anything resembling Ronaldinho the footballer came back in July 2013, when he added the Copa Libertadores crown to his already heaving trophy cabinet. In 2014, when he was on the lookout for a new club, a photo was leaked of him at a private party, standing in a swimming pool, arms spread wide, and that famous smile stretching from cheek to cheek, five thong-clad women lay at his feet. 2015 saw him make a return to Brazil following a spell in Mexico, signing a short-term contract with Rio de Janeiro club Fluminense. Yet he lasted less than two months and just nine appearances, before tearing up his contract and walking away from professional football for good. More recently, the former player is also being investigated for fraud by Brazilian federal prosecutors for his suspected part in a Ponzi scheme. The founder of 18K Ronaldinho, Marcelo Lara, is also currently under investigation, with the player claiming that Lara used his images without permission to promote his business interests. Prosecutors are in the process of examining consumer complaints against 18K Ronaldinho. The player, through his legal team, has made threats to sue the company if his images are not removed from their website. However, a quick site visit shows that photos of the player still adorn the pages of Lara's trading company. Additionally, this is not the first time that a Brazilian athlete has been caught travelling on a false passport. A report from February 2001 in Brazil's Folha de São Paulo, the country's most reputable newspaper, explained that four European countries, France, Spain, Italy and England, had opened investigations into falsely documented athletes. The most renowned case involved former Uruguayan attacker Alvaro Rocoba. The player was caught with false documents and was forced to return to Uruguay and request a work visa at the Italian embassy in Montevideo to save his job with Inter Milan. A more serious incident involved Brazilian players Wally and Alberto, both of Udinese at the time. The pair were arrested for travelling on false passports during a trip to Poland for a UEFA Cup tie with their club, but just like Rakoba, did not end up serving any jail time for their mishaps. Both Wally and Alberto had Uruguayan Juan Fija as their agent, who also represented Brazilian midfielder Edu. The player's transfer from Corinthians to Arsenal fell through in 2000 when it was revealed the Portuguese passport he carried had not been signed by an official. And it is the passport angle which is one of the initially odder aspects of this whole tale involving Ronaldinho. As a Brazilian citizen, the 39-year-old did not even need a passport for this trip. He travelled from Sao Paulo to Asunção 
and would only have needed to present his RG, his Brazilian ID card, upon arrival in the Paraguayan capital. But so far, neither Ronaldinho nor his brother has been able to offer a suitable explanation as to why they were travelling on Paraguayan documentation in the first place. They are, however, said to have been provided by Dalia Lopez, responsible for organising the trip to Paraguay so that the former athlete could take part in four charity events for her Angelic Fraternity Foundation, as well as visit the El Palazzo Casino, of which he is an ambassador. Lawyers representing Ms. Lopez, as well as her foundation, have denied any wrongdoing, while all events were cancelled in light of the star attraction's arrest. Ronaldinho's Brazilian passport issues began when his travel document was officially confiscated in early 2019, when he failed to pay a fine of 2.75 million US dollars for environmental damages caused in his home state of Rio Grande do Sul. The former football player had erected a pier on Lake Gaeta in 2015, an area classified as in permanent preservation. Ronaldinho's failure to pay the fine resulted in the confiscation of his passport, an ironic punishment for a man made an ambassador for tourism by Brazil's President Jair Bolsonaro in September 2019. On the 7th of March, in Brata, Brazil's national tourism body declared that they intended to retain Ronaldinho on as an ambassador despite the latest developments. And for the player and his continued adoring public, there appear to still be more questions than answers. Like any excellent mystery, this developing story has contained twists, a cast of unsavoury characters, and a tale that has grabbed attention around the world. Most recently, it was revealed that the former Ballon d'Or winner had scored five goals in his first game in a prison tournament, completing his journey from the Champions League to a competition in which the winners, reportedly, will win a £35 cooked pig. It was once thought that the buck-toothed, fleet-footed player, renowned for his artistry and his winning smile, would always be remembered fondly for what he contributed to the game in the early years of this century. But in the years since his retirement, winding down since that final Libertadores triumph almost seven years ago, the player looks to be in very real danger of destroying his glorious legacy.